Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how we can create stories within Tableau and as you know uh, stories are one of the most impactful way of uh, talking about for talking about uh, any particular uh, topic of the interest of your audience. So basically stories are uh, based on the dashboards or the sheets that you are creating. So for example we have uh, sales versus profit sheet, we have uh, what if forecast sheet, we have forecast sheet. So all of this information is actually related to sales, how we are forecasting sales, what, how the sales will happen uh, if we change parameters and that's what it is happening in what if forecast and then finally sales versus profit to say it in the end that uh, how we have really performed over the years or over the quarters. So based on this information, let's go ahead and create a, create a story. So for creating a story, you need to go to this icon. As you know, there are three icons. The first one is to create a worksheet, second one to create a dashboard, and third one is to create a story. So let's go ahead and create a new story. And once you create a new story, all of this information comes like uh, this, where you have the blank space at the center. And here you can add the caption related to the first story or a part of the story. And you can have uh, these multiple sheets or multiple blanks canvas for creating a story. On the left, you have dashboards and sheets that you can drag it over here and then create a uh, story out of it. All right, uh, what we need to do is, let's say first we want to take forecast. So we'll drag the forecast over here and it has created a first part of the story and we can give it a caption that says forecast all right once we are done now we want to add the next part of the story is what if forecast so let's say you have uh, shown them the okay this is how the forecast is coming but somebody wants to go really deep down as you may have uh, different types of audience and some of the people really ask that okay what if, if we change a certain parameter and uh, that will help us you know uh, give you a better accuracy or confirmation that whatever you are forecasting is good or not so for that what you do is you can create a blank uh, story a part of a story and uh, drag the another sheet and then say same thing what if or you can be much more uh, user friendly like forecast parameters tuning so that's like saying another way of saying what if forecast because you want to tune the parameter of forecast uh, like this new business growth churn rate and stuff like that and uh, that's how your forecast will going to change and it's more now uh, you know drill down for a cast after this you can add either duplicate sheet or a blank sheet so i'll go and add a blank sheet and then i will finally show at uh, sales versus profit to see how the uh, profit has come based on sales forecast forecast parameter and then historically how we have performed so overall it gives a, a good idea about the sales and to the sales managers and how the things are happening Apart from this, you can, uh, uh, apart from adding sh sheet, so that's how you can keep on continuing adding a sheet and you can click on each of the sheet and keep on moving. Uh, apart from clicking on the sheet, you can click over here as uh, it will keep on shifting to the new sheet. You can change the uh, title from here by double clicking over here and uh, you can say whatever sales performance. Let's see. And let me this apply okay apart from that you have the option of changing the layout uh, I don't want to do any change I can change some of the format so if I go into the story format here we have the shading we want to give any shading we can give like this uh, based on if there are any uh, colors standard colors that we need to follow apart from that font uh, alignment, shading, border, all of those things which you can probably, uh, you know, play with and figure out what is really working for you. Once you are done, you can close this 
and you have your story ready to go ahead for your end user. So that's that's about it. Uh, one last thing is uh, size of the story. You can uh, change the size of the story because uh, that will going to impact based on the system or the laptop that your end users are having. So you can get an idea about from the organization that what is the uh, width and height of the uh, laptop screens that most of the users are viewing. Generally, uh, people who travel, let's say here in this case, sales managers or sales field sales staff, they have a small laptops. So you may want to really look into it so that whenever they are seeing your story, um, they are able to see it properly and within the dimension of their laptop uh, width and height. So that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.